ਇਹਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਟਰੂਡੋ ਨੇ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਚ ਵਰਕਰ ਅਤੇ ਵਲੰਟੀਅਰਸ ਨਾਲ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਘੋਸ਼ਣਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਵੈਨਕੂਵਰ ਤੇ ਵਿਕਟੋਰੀਆ ਚ ਚਾਰ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਅਤ ਸਪਲਾਈ ਪਾਇਲਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵਧਾਉਣ ਲਈ 3.5 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਦਾ ਨਿਵੇਸ਼ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਟਰੂਡੋ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮਾਨਸਿਕ ਸਿਹਤ ਦੇ ਸੰਗੀ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਵੀ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਰਹੇ ਸੋ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਇਨਵੈਸਟਿੰਗ 3.5 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰਸ ਟੂ ਐਕਸਟੈਂਡ ਫੋਰ ਸੇਫਰ ਸਪਲਾਈ ਪਾਇਲਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟਸ ਇਨ ਵੈਨਕੂਵਰ ਵਿਕਟੋਰੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਇਨਕਲੂਡਿੰਗ ਦ ਸੇਫਰ ਓਪੀਓਇਡ ਸਪਲਾਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹੀਅਰ ਐਟ ਦ ਪਾਰਕਡੇਲ ਐਟ ਪਾਰਕਡੇਲ ਕੁਈਨ ਵੈਸਟ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਹੈਲਥ ਸੈਂਟਰ As workers in community health centers know these projects are important because they help reduce the risk of overdose by using prescribed medications as an alternative to toxic illegal drugs. They're also important because they can connect people who use drugs to other health and social services. We know that there's a whole ecosystem we have to build that uh, that being there to provide uh, one service means being able to uh, engage with all the other Uh, services that are so often needed by people suffering with addictions and that's uh, where the work you do on the front lines and the support you have on a way into their lives is so incredibly important as well so we can help them it is a real pleasure to be here with you all today i'm looking forward to hearing from you on the uh, real lived experiences that you've had on the front lines of this epidemic that uh, hasn't uh you know gone away or even diminished no matter how much uh, our attention has been turned away to other things as a number of people have said um in many ways it has gotten worse uh and one of the things we've learned from the pandemic and we're learning from crises is um you can't ignore them uh, you need to lean into them you need to step up if you want uh to solve and make sure that we're uh, getting through this in the right kind of way uh so uh, learning directly from you uh, on what tools you need what tools we need to use to build stronger communities uh, to create that sense of of uh, a belonging and connection uh, with community for people who have uh, often been marginalized uh, by 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 so many things and by life uh, but to bring them back in to give them the support and set them uh, uh in a in a place where uh, they can find themselves uh, a path forward is so incredibly important uh it's great to be here with minister bennett who is uh doing uh, extraordinary work thank you for everything uh, you're doing uh on uh, a file we uh we wish we didn't need but boy oh boy do we ever need uh the challenges of mental health uh through this pandemic and and everything else that is stressors these days are significant uh layer on top of that as arif pointed out the uh, opioid epidemic that we've been dealing with since before the pandemic but that was accelerated and aggravated by the pandemic it's significant uh also with the uh, great community MPs uh like Nate Erskine Smith uh Julie Taleb Wilson uh joining us from uh, the West Coast uh it's wonderful to to see everyone coming together in this way 